I would say that this place is for research lovers. The fellow program gives you the opportunity to have the first truly independent position and to make a smooth transition from the postdoctoral level to the group leader level. Here in Zanelli, I'm focusing explicitly on a crustacean model called Pariale Hawaiiensis that is really ideal to study appendage morphogenesis, that is body outgrowths. The reason why I became really interested in this animal model is because of its striking appendage diversity. Pariale is a living Swiss army knife. They have appendages that are specialized for different functions, for sensation, for feeding, for walking, for swimming, and so on. And this is one of the challenges, to be able to understand how these appendages, first of all, are formed, and then how they function in different ways. The limbats project ventrally, and start growing along their proximal distal axis. And at some point, they become subdivided into the distinct leg segments. Pariale offers exceptional material to study the molecular and cellular basis of appendage morphogenesis and diversification by simply comparing neighboring appendages in a single developing embryo. Back in 2011, when I was looking for positions, not many universities and research institutes were willing to take the risk and invest in such a challenging project. This is a risky project in the sense that it uses a new animal model that not many developmental biologists are familiar with. And secondly, because it requires studies at multiple levels of biological organization. We want to be able to study morphogenesis at the gene expression level, at the cell level, and also at the global uh, tissue and organ level. Thankfully, Janelia was willing to take me up as a junior fellow and invest in such a risky project. As a fellow, I feel free. At the same time, I also don't feel alone. What I mean by that is that I have all the freedom and also the support to pursue my research interests, but at the same time, I get continuous feedback and constructive criticism from my colleagues at all different stages of my research. I strongly believe that as a fellow, you need to have you know, some uh, uh, safe projects that can establish you as a scientist, but at the same time, you should have also the risky ones that will take you one step further. The question is, in what setting are you going to attempt to carry out these risky projects? Zanelli offers the best possible environment because you have people with many different backgrounds that can increase the possibility that the risky projects will succeed and will not fail. I think the most exciting moments are when you see or you understand a process that many have seen or tried to understand before you, but they were not able to understand at the same level that you did. This is when I feel the greatest.